Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Well, this was sent to me and I guess the only thing I could do at this point is to do an unboxing. It's the Ragu GS382. It's a laminator. So we'll just check this out right after this quick intro. Now I'm going to take a look at this uh, laminator here and tell you exactly what I think about it. Now I happen to own a laminator and now I have another laminator. Uh, this one here is supposed to be a little bit or a whole lot better than the one I already have. And so I thought, yeah, sure, I will take a look at it because laminators are awesome. So anyway, let's unbox this puppy. We have some, uh, we have a little frustrated book here. Poor thing, all frustrated. Get that out of the way. And this thing is obviously well packed. All right, that's a good thing. Oh, this is quite the unit. And it comes with, uh, looks like a nice supply of the laminating sheets. And it looks like it's in different sizes. Let's see, let me go ahead and open that up to get a good idea of what we're looking at here. Okay, so we have small lamination for small photos, then you have this medium size and half by 11s, which are like mine, ginormous. Look at that. Wow. So this thing can do some pretty large sizes, which is great. So let me get this off to the side without further ado. And we have something here, which is a, looks like it's a hole punch. And we got some rings here. I'm not quite sure what rings are for, but maybe if I look at the instructions, I'll know. And here are the instructions and this looks like it it allows you to cut rounded corners so you don't have those sharp corners you can use this and it will round the corner so that's pretty slick all right so we got some goodies in here all right well here's what the unit looks like out of the box you can see it's called ragu it's got a digital display and a touch switch you don't have to actually press it you just touch it and it turns on then you can see that it starts to heat up in the front here you can see the different paper sizes showing your a4s a5s a3s a6s and so forth that helps you guide your paper in this clearly takes different sizes now on the top you happen to have these uh, gradients in inches, millimeters, centimeters, and so forth. This will help you when you're going to cut your paper using the paper cutter that you see on the top there. Also, you can cut your paper in angles. It has this little angle graph here, so that makes that easy. Now, as far as this paper cutter is concerned um, I found that the paper cutter was um, a little stiff out of the box I had to slide it back and forth several times to get it to loosen up as a matter of fact I slid it so many times so fast I snapped the top part right off but uh, fortunately I was able to snap it back on so I would caution you about being too aggressive um, while it is a nice looking unit very sturdy feeling and so forth I'm not impressed with this paper cutter it does the job as we'll see but um, it, it just seemed like a, a little more attention to the paper cutter would have been uh, uh, much better okay I want to point out that uh, I could feel the unit is vibrating it has quite a vibration to it and it's warm to the touch on top and it does 
That's where all the, the heat you're going to feel on this unit is going to be right there on the top. The sides will remain cool, so will the front and, and the back, but it's right there on the top. You can just feel it getting slightly warm. Not warm, too warm where it will burn you. Okay, now it says it's on. That means it's ready to go. And a uh, little light there is green, so it's time for us to go ahead and laminate. And uh, I have a couple 8x10s, uh, or 8 by and 11 and halfs actually, that I need to get laminated. So I thought this video would be a good place to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I grabbed me the lamination sheet that's just right for the size paper I'm using, which is 85 by 11 I happen to have this uh, for my Visual Studio Code, my programming. These are uh, quick keys. And here you got to kind of... Uh, find the edge there and peel it open and once you do that it's time to go ahead and slide the eight and a half by eleven sheet up snug to the end just fold the lamination sheet over it and then we're just going to feed it to the front of the ragu and uh, once you push it in to where you feel that it comes to a stop the motor automatically takes it and uh, moves it in for you. You can you can just sit back and, and watch it. You don't have to do uh, anything else. And so I'm just lining it up with the A4 markings uh, for this eight and a half width. And I'm just gonna push it in until I feel it meet a little bit of resistance and then it will grab and go on its own. Okay, so once it's done coming out the other end, um, you can just go ahead and, and grab it. And there you go, fully protected, did a great job. It's a little uh, warm on the very end, the last part to come out, um, but it cools down really quick. The rest of it's nice and cool, and you can see that it, it did a perfect job, everything is sealed up. Now I have a lot of excess uh, lamination on this, so I'm going to use the paper cutter to cut that off. Um, here I'm pushing it in from the front, and trying to uh, you know figure out how much I want to cut off but I soon learned that it's not from the front that you want to push this it's from the rear so we'll jump right there here I'm laminating another one of my uh, report things here it's just a, a table of numbers uh, for my trading um, but we're going to use this for the cut demonstration because at this time I figured out that I was supposed to go from the other end and so what you want to do is, you know, figure out how much of this you want to cut off. And I'm kind of using the measurement there to figure it out. Um, take your time with that. I kind of rushed it a little bit and cut a little too close. But once you figure out what you want to do, and I was kind of guessing two and a half centimeters here, uh, then I slide it in until I get up to the two and a half centimeter mark there. And yes, from the back. And move it in as straight as I can. You have all these lines here to help you kind of keep things straight. And then I just hold it down. You want to press down on the cutter uh, slider deal there when you try to cut. You don't just want to slide it. You want to be able to press down and then um, it will cut. And you can see it did a nice clean cut. I cut a little too close to the paper. Uh, but that was my fault, but you can see that the cutter does a great job. Uh, again, I, I wish it was just slightly higher quality cutter, but the fact that it even has a cutter or rulers on there, I consider a bonus for a laminator. Uh, my other laminator does not have this feature, so that's a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to take the pointy edges off of my uh, laminated uh, report thingies here. I'm not quite sure what to call them, call them report thingies, but you just take the edge off each one of those and it kind of rounds them off. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off all four corners. Just clip that little tiny point off and it makes a nice little rounded edge there. That's it. Okay, so that tool came with it. And hopefully you can see in the camera there how it made that nice little rounded edge. So that's if you don't want to poke your eyes out or you don't want your uh, laminated sheets to be pointy. You now can just round them off. All right. Well, that does it for that little 
toy time to move on to the hole punch so here I'm going to take this hole punch that it came with the uh, laminator and I'm going to uh, punch a hole into both of my laminated sheets here we'll go ahead and punch the other one this is for my programming sheet all right and now I'm going to put the two together using those rings one of those rings that uh, came in the kit now it came with three of them um, I noticed that two of them were the sa same size and they were the bigger ones and then there was one that was just slightly smaller than the other two and so the one on the right is smaller I'm going to use the one on the right and they're real easy to open you kind of a a slight pressure twist to it and then open them you put your little laminated cards in there and now they'll, they'll all keep together you can put a whole bunch of them on there you can hang them up on a hook somewhere you know that kind of thing of course I'm not going to keep these two together because they are not related these are two different types of sheets for two different kind of jobs but I just wanted to demonstrate how this was used well everybody uh, there you have it uh, the rings the uh, rounded corner tool punch tool put holes in everything so this was a pretty good unit paper cutter it's nice to have though I think a little more attention should have been given on it that it needs to slide a little softer and uh, when I try to you know get it a little bit um, loosened up by going back and forth which actually helped I ended up inadvertently uh, taking that knob off and I had to snap it all back together again so I didn't like that and as you can see it cuts really well though you do want to press down on it it's, it's got a plunger like system it has uh, four springs inside of there so you just can't slide it you need to press and slide but it was a little rough you can see I'm demonstrating here where you might want to add a little bit of Vaseline or something to kind of lube that up uh, when you first get it after a while you'll start to loosen up a little bit but again be careful because it's real easy to, to you know break off that cutter so that, that's the negative I have on it but the unit itself is nice and solid uh, has a, a little bit of a hum to it because it vibrates and does get a little warm on top but overall I like it better than the one I have before uh, because of the fact that it comes with the measurements uh, it comes with the cutter on the top which mine does not uh, my other one and it also cuts much different sizes which or, or laminates different sizes which my other one does not so it's a good one but hey if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if uh, you don't give me a thumbs down I mean you know being as candid as I can about this unit thanks again for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video bye